Thanks for tuning in to InvestU. For today, we're going to be looking at the Tanger outlet stock and doing a deep dive into the value in this stock. Some basic stock info for Tanger Factory Outlet Centers Incorporated. It's traded on the New York Stock Exchange. The ticker is SKT. This analysis was performed on the 9th of February 2020, and it has a market cap right now of $1.25 billion. The stock price right now is trading at about $13.42 per share, and the number of shares outstanding is about $93 million. So looking at some of the key metrics for the Tanger Outlet stock, uh, again, the price is about $13.42 right now, which gives us a P.E. ratio of 14.43, which is less than the P.E. ratio we're hoping for of 15 as a value investor. From an earnings per share perspective, this is about 93 cents, which translates into a 6.9% return. The dividend yield is very attractive for this stock, which is, is around 10%. Uh, so this is very attractive to us from a value investing standpoint and will really help us when we're looking at retaining value within this stock, especially as the price tends to fluctuate. So the exciting part from a value investing standpoint is if this price dips further and they preserve their dividend, that means our dividend yield will increase. So if the price dips down to 13, we may see that dividend yield accelerate upwards close to 11%. From a price to book perspective, we're seeing at about 3.06, which gives us a margin of safety about 32%. This is less than the 50% we like to see, uh, but they do have a very strong dividend yield. So we're, we're still bullish on this investment. From a debt to equity perspective, we're sitting at 3.5 and a debt to asset perspective, we're sitting at 0.71. From a return on equity perspective, we're at 9.1%, which shows that management is quite efficient. The, right now, there is no current ratio that is available for this stock. The EV over EBITDA is 10.1, which suggests this, this might be slightly overvalued. And the gram number right now is at 11.97 per share. So this suggests that the stock might be overvalued at this point as well. From an intrinsic value perspective, we're going to do a calculation based on a growth at 2%. This is going to be discounted at an 8.1% uh, value, and the growth in perpetuity will be about 2.7%. So we're going to go and look at some of the trends for cash flow and for net income to see how this all plays out. So we're looking at the free cash flow trend. We're seeing that it's a steady growth of free cash flow over the years. Uh, it really agrees with our linear trend that we've put in, and that's how we came up to the 2% growth calculation. The enterprise value though is fluctuating quite a bit. We are seeing that there are some dips that it's taking and that it's taking some sharp increases. So we are slightly worried that they're not increasing their enterprise value over time, uh, but it is still showing some growth from the trend perspective. The revenue growth adheres to an excellent linear trend and, and further supports the case of using the 2% growth. Though their net income is very similar to the enterprise value. It, it's taking some uh, dips and it's had some sharp increases. It's still following a trend upwards, but it has some uncertainty in there. So we're going to dig into this stock to find out a little bit more why. So from a corporate overview perspective, their claims are that this stock is recession proof. Uh, and the idea behind that is they say that people like a good deal in good times and people need a good deal in bad times. And I tend to agree with this to an extent. Though what I am concerned with is the ability for brick and mortar type shops to continue with the, this company. Right now they're posting a 97% occupancy, which is a slight hit from what they had in previous years. They were upwards of 99 to 98% occupancy. What's nice is they have a really diversified mix of stores that are with Tanger. From the annual report in 2018, they had 190 million shoppers go through their doors. The revenue increased by 1% year over year, which is good. On their books, they have 15.3 million square feet of real estate, which is valued at $3.05 billion. And they have a really strong dividend growth over the past 27 years. So relative to the share, we're seeing it at 13.42. At uh, you would get a dividend of 1.42 annually per share, which translates into about 10.3%. So a, a great return that slightly could beat the market when you look at average rates. They are actively repurchasing shares on an annual basis, which makes us believe that this might be undervalued. They are actively reducing their debt at a rate of $50 million per year, which is beneficial. And, it, and Tanger Outlets can be considered a local attraction. I know whenever we go on vacation and there's an outlet in the area, that's something we want to hit up to buy clothes for the kids, buy clothes for ourselves, and uh, make a day out of a, a trip to the outlet mall. 
So looking at the dividend growth, we see that year over year, they have increased their dividends. This is a family owned company and operated. Uh, the CEO for this is Tanger by name. Uh, so this is something that we likely would believe would continue uh, for the foreseeable future. And we're not that concerned that there would not pay out their dividends uh, over the coming year. So the investment for 10% is likely a, a solid investment. So a couple of negatives from a corporate overview. From a brick and mortar perspective, some of the tenants have gone bankrupt. The the top 10 clients for them previously, and if you look at the top 10 clients now, it, it has changed a little bit. So there is some uncertainty for tenants for the future. They don't have any new developments on the books to expand for 2019. As mentioned, the 97% occupancy rate is a reduction from previous years. So the real question is, can Tanger's business model stand up to the continuing change of stores and as customers shift more to an online base of shopping. So getting back to the intrinsic value calculation, using a growth of 2% and discounting at 8.1% with a growth rate in perpetuity of 2%, the, the, and utilizing the 2019 future cash flow of 1.11 billion, we get an intrinsic value of 46.49, which suggests that this stock is undervalued based on their cash flow discounted. So in summary, we think Tanger is a good stock to keep your eye on, especially for the dividend. We may want to keep our eye on this to see if the price dips a little bit further. And if it does, that may maximize our returns by buying in and getting a good rate on this stock relative to their dividend payout. Based on their 27 year history of dividend payout, we expect this trend to continue and we're looking forward to having the stock in our portfolio. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of InvestU. We hope you subscribe below and check out our future videos on stocks and investment education. <music>